More than 1,200 cases of the measles have been diagnosed this year, but there's now another cause for concern. New studies say the measles may cause immune amnesia, partially erasing your immune system's memory and effect, and leaving you potentially vulnerable to illness. Pediatrician Dr. Eric Ball joins us to explain. Well, what do these new studies mean when it comes to parents, kids, and, and what is this concept of immune amnesia? Before we talk about this, I think I have to really briefly talk about how your immune system works. And so think of your immune system as being an army. And your army is there to fight off viruses and bacteria and things that want to make you sick. And when you're first born, your immune system is naive. The army is just fresh recruits. They haven't seen battle yet. But as a child, you're exposed to lots of things that try to make you sick. And every time you get exposed to one of these viruses, it makes you sick and causes an infection. Your immune system then goes into action, fights it off, and after a week or two, you generally recover. But here's what's cool. Your immune system has a memory. And your immune system makes these things called memory cells, which produce a weapon called antibodies. And they'll stay in your body for decades. And if that same virus or bacteria comes around, they are prepared to fight it off and kill it before it makes you sick. What's super scary is we've now learned that the measles virus will actually attack those memory cells and partially destroy all of that memory and all of that history. And so even after you recover from a measles infection, your immune system kind of reverts the naive state. You go back to having fresh recruits and you're susceptible to getting all of those childhood diseases over and over and over again. Is this unique to the measles virus? So as far as we know, it is. Um, and what's interesting that the study showed is that when you get the measles virus itself, when you get sick with it, somewhere between upwards of 73% of your immune memory can be wiped out. Alternatively, if you get the measles vaccine, so the MMR vaccine, that does not happen. So the vaccine does not affect your immune system. In fact, it strengthens your immune system. And if to give us more reason to vaccinate our kids, getting the MMR vaccine not only protects you against getting measles, but it also preserves your immunity from all those other things you had in the past. And you see parents all of the time. When you see a parent and they are reluctant to get this vaccine, what do you tell them? How can you reassure people watching? What I tell them is that I myself am vaccinated. My children are both completely vaccinated on time. There are so many good reasons to get your kids vaccinated, not just to protect them against bad diseases like the measles, but we're learning more and more about these you know, secondary effects of vaccination. I'll give you one quick example. We've seen throughout the decades in areas where the measles vaccine is given, the death rate for lots of other infectious diseases goes down. For upwards of five years, people die less of pneumonia and diarrheal diseases and other infectious diseases. And we didn't really know why. And now we know why, that that measles va vaccine is protecting you not, against, not only against the measles, but against all these other bad things that you had been exposed to as a child. I really like, Dr. Ball, that you have the conversation and you explain how the immune system works. I thought you did a really good job of, of explaining how our immune system fights off infections, has memory, and I just encourage everyone to educate themselves about how your immune system work, how vaccines work, and hopefully, just hopefully, we can sort of stop this increase in measles cases that we're seeing. Thank you very much. You're welcome.